10.49 on the clock, on the dot, I'm on my laptop, giving a tea. Doom, 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 doom. I got a real funny, funny story that came to me. It's actually a scene. So pull up, anticipating a good read. I won't keep you waiting. This remix. I got plans to spill this tea in places y'all never seen. Girl, you know what I mean? Yes. Where my twerkers at, girl? I'm about to get a beat to that one. I'm going to have the original, and I'm going to have a remix. That's the remix. You know, that's the one where you can shake your behinds to down to the hole in the wall so that y'all be frequenting or whatever, because I know y'all some old ass hoes like I am. Anyway, make sure to follow the social medias if y'all have not already. Um, uh, and if y'all would like to donate to the channel, the PayPal and Cash App, the Join button, um, merch, all that is available, girl. Do your thing. Tonight at 8.15, my time, New York time, Easter time, whatever y'all want to call it time, me, Scotty, and JoJo will be talking about last week's Love and Marriage Huntsville, but the main course that's action that's going to be going on is Mark Scott, girl. Mark Scott say he got a lot of things he got to say. Mark said he got a whole bunch that he got to say, and he got to say it to, 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 to get it off his chest and to make him feel better or whatever the case may be. So he's coming on tonight um, at 8.15. I'm going to ask him to come by about 9. Mark, if you're watching, I mean, I'm going to email you anyway to give you the link or whatever, but I'm going to have Mark come on about between 9 and 9.15, that'll give me, Scotty, and JoJo time to do what the hell we supposed to do, which is talk about the episode. Then Mark is going to come on and say whatever Mark got to say, child. Uh, Miss Wanda texted me a, a couple days ago asking when and where this was happening at. I don't know. She might want to come around there and have something to say, too. But uh-uh, Miss Wanda, we, we, you had your chance, friend. Now we're going to get right here to Mark because I heard you and Mark got into it um uh, uh this week or so and this ain't about to be a you and kiki situation that y'all had around there scotty had scotty and his feelings and his channel all tied up and what y'all had going on but i want you there miss wanda <laughs> and anybody else that want to come come on around here girl ciao girl look all of y'all that sent me this i don't know what y'all want me to say like, listen, Tisha said what she said, and what she said was what the fuck she said. So I don't even know why we y'all bombarded me, girl, with all of this. See, last night, shout out to Bestie. I was on Scotty's channel last night. And he was talking about the blackout, uh, LAMH or whatever, or whatever, or whatever. Another place where somebody told me that some hoes was looking for me. But we'll talk about that later. And a couple of y'all brought up this deleted scene that own messy ass has done put out about a deleted conversation that Tisha and Destiny had about the situation that happened down to Madani or whatever, or whatever. And a couple of y'all sent this to me already and I won't go touch it. But then after last night, when I asked, do y'all really want me to talk about it? And I got a resounding yes. Then I woke up to eight more people sending me the link of the deleted scene. I said, well, I guess they want me to talk about it, girl. Y'all are so damn messy. Y'all know that's my sister wife and I love her. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna turn on her um, for y'all Melody Cruz. Y'all should know that about me by then. Like, we stick together around here. But I do got a job to do. And I can't show no favoritism because if I do, folk gonna take my license. I'ma get the bar and I ain't got no time. So Tisha is no shade. Um, but you was brought up, girl, and uh, yeah, the folk want to talk about it, so don't get mad with me, sister wife. But I'm about to play to you guys the deleted scene. Well, y'all are going to hear it. I'm not going to play it because I ain't got time for them to come around here and trying to strike my channel and all of the rest of this stuff that these folk got going on. So I'm about to let you guys hear it, and if you want to see it for yourself, I'm going to put the link down into the description box. So here it goes, child. Tell about everything that went down at Madani. 
he don't he didn't like it just like my dad my dad i hated to see him so upset like mm -hmm. it really really bothered him like it especially since it like continued and it just snowballed it was like you know to see him like y'all need to get away from my daughter's place or business and it was just a lot because your dad lot. had to leave right well i don't know if he had to leave but he wanted to leave and come back yeah <laughs> and i didn't want sad. him to yeah it was a lot that. It was a lot. And that was the whole thing. And that's why Marcel was like, I don't want to go to jail. I don't want the guys to be involved in it. Because when the guys get involved, it ain't, it ain't just talking. Yeah. It's like it's somebody going to end up dead. Somebody going to end up in jail. Like, it's too much. And that's why I was like, I wish you would have had that same energy for me at Gala time. Like, I wish this was an all-girl event. <laughs> like, if it was an all-girl event and we were still at the level that we, first of all, how we left Gala time, to come back into a situation and it still be the same disrespect it would have but it was crazy because you had none of that heat for me like you got up and walked out i'm confronting you about things and you got up and walk out was it because you didn't have your mom to have your back or you didn't have martel to have your back Ooh. like if you're a woman you're gonna face somebody let's i'm here you're there let's let's go Ooh. so and i was just telling marcel because he was so, so upset he started talking to me hold on let me like, rewind that back <laughs> If it was an all-girl event and we were still at the level that we, first of all, how we left Galentine's to come back into a situation and it still be the same disrespect, it would have But it was crazy because you had none of that heat for me. Like, you got up and walked out. I'm confronting you about things. And you got up and walked out. Was it because you didn't have your mom to have your back or you didn't have Martell to have your back? Like, if you're a woman, you're going to face somebody. Let's, I'm here. You're there. Let's, let's go. So, and I was just telling Marcel, because he was so, so upset. He started talking to me crazy, like, I don't want to go to jail, blah, 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 that's you put me in an uncomfortable situation I'm like that. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. And what do you expect for me but to do? you got to understand with men, they go into protective mode. And, and that's what he said. But my thing is, what do you expect for me to do if I see somebody in my mom's face talking gonna go to her crazy? I'm going to go, like, get out my mama's face. Like, I'm like, I wasn't going to fight. I wasn't, And I can control myself. I was like, I wasn't going to fight her. I just wanted to know what was going on and be like, bitch, back up. For real, get out my mama's face. <laughs> I and mean, naturally, day, anybody would want to do that. And, but and I told him, at the end of the day, my mom can handle her own. Well, we all know that. Like, is she in, I have a lot more self-control than my mom has. Like, Clearly. she actually fight van in me. <laughs> At the same time. No wonder. Listen, <laughs> I had to hold her in the store. Literally, I locked her in the store. I had to lock her in the store. And my dad walked her out the back. And, you know, she just we thought she was going to be calm and go and finish it out. But mm -hmm. she came out of nowhere. And that, and that's the thing. It, like, calls. It's not just you and Mel. Then it's causing issues at me and my household. Because it was just a level. It just, it just seemed like all the it's energy. A yes, it was like <laughs> yeah. negativity perpetuated throughout the building. And it was just like, rah. And that was not what it was about. That's, and it was good before she came with that bad energy. I mean, I mean, I have to say, I but mean, also trust me off. Like, I understand you're going to be protective. Like, how about you pull Martell to the side and be like, Martell, let the girls handle this. Because it wasn't like a double team on male. It wasn't like two for one. It was one on one. So if it's one on one, then why why the guys have to get in it at all? How about you pull Martell to the side? Like, I know you want to protect your wife. I'm going to protect my wife. But how so about we just let it. them handle this and we stay out of it? You know what I'm saying? easier said than done in the moment yeah so, you know we can say that now hindsight but it, emotions were high and it was just a lot it was a lot Zero. <sighs> girl 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 well child there go your hot mic moment um y'all little deleted scene or whatever or whatever um First and foremost, what y'all not going to do is act like Tisha told nothing but lies, because she didn't. The energy was good, and the energy was great until fish lips came around there, and until melodrama came around there with that passive-aggressive bullshit that she, do that she often does, you know, because she came around there to support a black business and all of that stuff. So we're not going to act like that's a lie, because that's not a lie. Uh, because I know how y'all do. That's not a lie. Here's the thing. I don't know why y'all are so upset because Tisha got up here and said, well, I'm not really too worried about my mama because my mama know how to fight and my mama will fight both male and... And before y'all get under the comments, don't... Do, like, 
see, and see, this is what um unpopular opinion Phil. I think his name is. He's a moderator of mine, by the way. Phil, I didn't know that was you last night, friend. Cause um I ain't see the thumbnail. I ain't know that was you last night, friend. Shout out to you. But this would this is this right here is what he means. Any and everything that Letitia say, Kimmy say, Marcel say, Maurice say, it's already scrutinized and, and, and picked through with a fine tooth comb, right? And people act like they're not human, like everybody else. Like how many times have we ha have a situation happen and we setting up amongst our homegirls that we be like, girl, bitch, that fight last night or that fight that almost took place, girl, fuck them hoes. They better be glad that I was out there to control my mama. Because if I went out there to control my mama, my mama would have went in and I have on the both of them ass on the both of the asses. Let's not sit here and act like conversations like that do not happen after a situation. So I, 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 I'm just trying to, like, what do y'all want me to say? She didn't come out and say that she wished her mama would have connected to melodrama. She didn't come out here and say, I wish my mama would have went after Miss Van right along with her daughter. I wish my mama did it. That's not what she said. What she said was, look. I wanted to be out there to like control my mama basically because I know what my mama can do and I know what my mama is capable of. And I know my mama is ratchet enough to really sit out here and fight this woman and her mom. That's basically what Letitia was saying. Not that Melody a punk, not that uh, Evangelist Nessa is a punk, not that she wanted them to fight, not that she wanted all of that to go down, not that she was hoping and praying and wishing that that happened. She was simply saying, I know how my mama is, so I'm glad I was out there to not let it get to that. And let me point out another goddamn thing. Y'all need to stop putting the emotions of grown, rusty-ass niggas who got a dick and balls between their legs um, on, on women. Let, much like Tisha said, and again, we're not going to act like she's lying. Leisure suit and 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 Marceau didn't have to get into it, but they did. So to sit up and place that on Miss Wanda for two overgrown rusty ass niggas with dick swinging between their legs is preposterous to me. Everybody out there is grown, just like had Miss Wanda connected, and this was brought up last night. Had Miss Wanda connected with melodrama, girl, melodrama don't fight. She AKA. Bitch, bye. You understand me? Now, if she was a Delta, okay, if she was a SG row, all right, if she was a Zeta, you heard me? Things would have went a lot differently, but she not. She ain't gay. So let's just say for the sake of argument that her punch did connect or whatever. And let's just say for the sake of argument, Miss Van jumping in to protect her daughter and she got her ass tagged too. Let's just say, had Melodrama decided to press charges and had her mama decide to press charges on Miss Wanda, I wouldn't have nothing to say. It's a cause and effect. Everybody there is grown. Miss Wanda is grown enough and adult enough to not allow her emotions to take over her to a place and to a point of where she wants to go and physically attack somebody. But everybody's grown. She's overgrown as fuck. So if she decided to do that at her grown ass age, that would be her grown ass prop. Right? So it wouldn't be on Miss Wanda if Marceau was to have jumped in. it. I mean, I, let's just be honest. Because everybody there is grown. And everybody that's out there is responsible for how they handle themselves during a conflict situation. So, Tisha said, da, 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 da. and another thing, before y'all get into the comments, well, why didn't she say all of that to Melody? Why did Melody stay her old skinny football head of shake ass in that damn building and said what she had to say to Destiny? Did she not get up and walk out? and set her sights on Miss Wanda? And did she not go around there and get the party started to Miss Wanda? 
She not going to get the party started with Destiny because she know Destiny is going to whoop her goddamn ass. But she'll go and do that with Miss Wanda because she feels like Miss Wanda is is an elder and she not going to take it there. But then she got a rude awakening when Miss Wanda ran up behind her. See, it's everything is a cause and effect. Just like how Miss Wanda went up there and said whatever she said about the child, which caused melodrama to come up there with the fucked up ass energy and the vibe and to come up there and confront her. Miss Wanda doing that caused melodrama to come right there doing that. Cause and effect. And had Miss Wanda retched around there and said, bitch, get over here. And did what she had to do, cause and effect. What Miss Wanda did caused melodrama to go right there and do what she did. And because melodrama went down there and did what she did, and it the effect with Miss Wanda coming... Get over here. And, 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 and it just is what it is. Like, nobody's hands are clean in the situation. Okay. So that's that for that. But I don't know what y'all want me to say about it. It was a deleted scene. I don't know why it was deleted. That was the most interesting part of that whole thing that I wished we would have saw because everything else was just white noise in the background. I I, I, I didn't care about whatever they was talking about. This was more interesting. This was what we should have seen, Carlos. Not that extra shit you... I don't give a fly. I don't give two Ant Hill fucks about Moses. I don't care. He not on the show, nowhere only. He live in St. Louis. I don't care. You know? Like... It... Girl, see. This ain't got nothing to do with Moses. This ain't got nothing to do with Moses. I Look, look. I know folk gonna get under the comments and you know, y'all, y'all, y'all know how the trauma unit and folk do. They about to be all under the comments and nail Tisha to the cross. Tisha shouldn't have said that. Tisha ain't got no business saying that. Or why didn't Tisha say that the melodrama? Why didn't she say that right then and there? Or why she even talking? Why she even bringing that up? Da -da -da -da. I thought that they all agreed to leave it behind. And I thought that it... Listen, I ain't mad at what Letitia said. I'm not mad at the conversation. I'm not mad at her feelings. It is what it is. But here come the bullshit. Y'all drop down in the comments. Y'all drop down in the comments and um and, I, 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 and do what you usually do, which is whatever Letitia says and however she says it, it's going to be a big damn deal. She shouldn't have said it. I don't know why she said it. I don't know why they make a melody, a conversation, a topic of conversation. Why did they have to sit down and talk about melody? Why did they have to sit down and talk about Miss Van? Why this? Why that? Why is the sky blue? Why is the night sky black? Why does why we don't see no more stars in the sky? Why we ain't seen no comments yet? Why this? Why that? I already know what it's gonna be. I I I but whatever. Just make sure you don't at me. All right? Don't at me. I tell y'all this all the time. And then when I when, when you at me, and then I give you a little bit, then you play the damn thing. And I want to bring that shit up, too. Since we talk about LAMH, we're going to talk about it. You know what? I'm, I'm going to save it for the night. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to save it for the night. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all thought about this uh, hot mic deleted scene. Situation betwixt these two folks, these two fine women or whatever. Um, Yeah, because it's about to be some bullshit. I already know what it is. But whatever. Bye.